Love this gun to death. I did some upgrades to it. Getting a cheek riser for this. I got a, a bunch of different things going on with this gun. But I want it to be camo. We're gonna need to take all the parts of the rifle that we don't want to get fucking camo. Go ahead and tape that up real nice and good. All right, so I got the buzzer taped off. I've got my front sight picture taped off. I'm gonna keep that black. I'm gonna tape right here too, just a little bit to keep paint from getting in there. And also, so my safety lever, it doesn't cover all the way, right? And I've also got this bolt hold open hole. So because of this line, on my dust cover in that hole, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the dust cover off. So I'm just going to put a piece of tape on the inside, just about like that. And then whenever I pop this back on, it will cover that up. Alright, so that's what I'm working with, right? Up in your fucking trigger. Lay it back down. There you go. Now that's pretty much covered up. Let's stuff this down in here. As much as I can. Alright, so we're about to start painting. These are my colors. I got that uh, Rust Oleum Camo Khaki. I've got the Satin Brown, which is kind of khaki. I've got green Rust-Oleum Camouflage. I've got Matty Spanish Moss. And then I've got black. So we're going to go ahead and do a few layers of khaki brown. Khaki brown. Khaki. 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 And then just some tiny bit of khaki there. And then I'm gonna throw some brown over top of that sprinkles. And then right here throw some more sprinkles on it. 
I know y'all can't see it, but it's like throwing little sprinkles here. See those? Little sprinkles. Okay. So now what we do, we let this dry for a minute. And then we are going to do the greens. Okay. I'm going to just use it for this pattern here. So we're going to cut this. So, you know, benefit from using this. Now, see this pattern here? We're going to use that to put some black onto the rifle. Just lightly, not too much, just light. It's a little bit right here on the clip. Okay, I don't know if y'all can see that very well, but it looks pretty cool. Okay, a little bit out here. So now we let dry for just a little bit. I'm gonna fan it out with this, just to speed up the drying process. And then, once we get this done, then what we do is we do the dish soap method, which is regular Dawn dish, whatever the fuck, we're gonna on that motherfucker. Make the patterns look good, then we're gonna use those greens, and that's what we're that's gonna finish the product. I mean, obviously, I gotta flip it over and do the other side, but you know what I'm saying, homie dog. Alright, guys, this is what it's looking like right before I'm gonna do the uh, dish soap, and then my last two colors of green, I added a little more black to it, because these colors are gonna be covered up. Unless the dish soap hits it. So where the dish soap hits is where the, these colors are going to shine through. Uh, the main color is going to be the camo green and then the Spanish moss. All right, here we go. Alright, now I'm gonna do a coat of Spanish moss first. So I'm gonna do green. I'm gonna do Spanish moss. Fuck it. Green. Spanish moss. Green. Spanish moss. Green, then it's moss, and do green, I don't know why I keep putting the cap back on, then it's moss, green, then it's moss. Now, we wait and then we spray that off. All right guys, just spread it off of water. And this is what it's looking like so far. The water's still drying off of it, but it's about done drying. The only part that really fucked up is that right there. I was spraying too close to it and washed a lot of the green off. So that's why a lot of the brown's showing. And right there, the paint's trying to come off but besides that part and that part and this part which i don't mind that part 
everything was great. I guess I didn't wait long enough to start spraying it. I mean, I waited about 10, 15 minutes. So I'd recommend waiting a little bit longer before you spray. So beautiful paint job on my part. I have to say looks amazing to me. All right, guys, now that the rifle is done, I have field stripped the rifle. I didn't paint the muzzle, but as you can tell, I left my front sight picture black and my top piece black. I'm going to paint the muzzle, I think, with a thin, really, really thin coat because, you know, whenever that gets hot, it's going to start mm, burning up and shit. But I think the black mixes really well with it which i'm happy that it turned out like that um but field strip the rifle right because you want to get that water 